or our population proportion. So that's for one categorical variable, right? So we had one categorical variable and our, and our variable was how happy are you in your marriage? You could be very happy, you could be pretty happy or you could be unhappy. But now let's look at the situation where we have two categorical variables. So if you remember initially, we were interested in trying to find out if the proportion of respondents who describe their marriage as very happy differs based on their biological sex. So are there sex differences? And based on the respondent's highest degree obtained. So are there degree differences? Are there educational differences? So these questions are asking about the relationship between two categorical variables. Now, we do not necessarily have an explanatory and response variable here because we're not saying, we're not trying to say, does biological sex predict whether or not somebody's happy in their marriage? We're just sort of looking to see, is there a difference here? So there's not necessarily an explanatory response variable in this case, but the decision to have an explanatory and response variable is really dependent on your research question. So it goes back to the fundamentals that we learned last week. So how do we visualize this data? Um, the first way to visualize it is in a table, and it's called a two-way table. That will allow us to basically have one category, um, one variable on the rows, one variable on the columns, and then each cell in that table is going to correspond to that combination of those two categories. Um, that's kind of what I'm saying down here. So let's look at a, a two-way table. So how would you describe your marriage? So here we have um, the variable that's on the, the rows, very happy, pretty happy, not too happy, is that happiness in the marriage variable. And then the variable that's on the columns, this, these, these are the columns here, right? This is gonna be biological sex. So just taking one of these cells, we see, see that 331 uh, people were female and they responded that they were very happy. We see that 157 people said they were pretty happy and they were male. So that's how you interpret each individual cell. Hopefully you can interpret the other four cells and understand what they mean. That's an, an important piece of, uh, that's an important piece of being able to work with these tables. So let's try to calculate some statistics based on this, this table. What proportion of females describe their marriage as not too happy? Okay, so we, to, to answer this question, we need, to, we need to calculate what's called essentially a conditional proportion, but we don't need to use the word conditional here. But what we need to do is we need to figure out what is the total number of females? What is the total number of females? And then once we figure out the total number of females, we need to figure out wh um, what proportion of them describe their marriage as not too happy. So we know right here that 20 of them describe their marriage as not too happy, but what is that as a proportion? <clears throat> So, oops, sorry about that. What we're going to do then is we're going to first sum these up. So we see that there's four in this, right? You know, one plus three plus zero is four. And then we're gonna have a two here. We're gonna carry over one. We're gonna see that there are 500 and um, <clears throat> 24 females. So how do we find out the proportion of females that describe their marriage as not too happy? This is going to be this proportion, which we'll call P hat and maybe we'll represent it f for female and then we'll do a comma for not too happy so nth is going to be 20 divided by 524 which is going to equal 0 0.038 so hopefully that makes sense to you how that proportion was calculated probably the most difficult part about calculating a proportion like that is that you need to figure out um, first what the total number of females was. So that's always going to be the most difficult part um, is trying to figure out essentially what is your denominator in these problems. So what proportion of the respondents who are not too happy are female? So here we've sort of flipped things around now. Now in this, this example here, our denominator was the total number of females. In this case now, our denominator is gonna be the not too happy people. So we need to figure out how many people are not too happy. So we're going to say 
the proportion that are not too happy that are female. Now, I'm being a little sloppy in my notation, and you can use any notation that works with you, like for the subscripts. Um, just something that is clear to me when I'm, say, for example, grading a quiz or looking at a homework, um, and something that you'll understand later. So the first thing we need to do, well, we know what the numerator is, right? Because we know the number of females that are not too happy. We know that the numerator is 173. Now, the denominator is going to be the sum of these two numbers. So it'll be 173 plus 157, which is 330. And if we calculate this value, we see that our answer is 0.667. So about two thirds of the people that describe their marriage as pretty happy are female. Oops, sorry, that was that's the wrong one. I am reading this question incorrectly. I'm sorry about that. You've probably been yelling at me. It doesn't say um, pretty happy. It says not too happy. Not too happy. So um, proportion that are not too happy, and then that's female. So this is going to be, it's going to be 20 over 30, which is going to equal 0.667. Right, so 20 over the this right down here is just 20 plus 10. That's what that is there. <clears throat> Great, so we know that this value here is 0.667, and this is 0 0.038. Now, what proportion of males describe their marriage as not too happy? So if we do this one, proportion males not too happy, this is going to be 10 over 307 plus 157 plus 10 and then that value is going to be 474 okay and that value is going to equal 0 0.021 so hopefully these proportions are lining up for you and make sense to you so the next question says, are females or males more likely to describe their marriage as not too happy? Well, we see that females that describe their marriage as not too happy is 0.38. We see that males describe their marriage as not too happy is 0 0.021. Well, the 0 0.038 is larger than the 0 0.021. So it's going to be females are going to be more likely to describe their marriage as not too happy. <clears throat> the final question says, what proportion of the survey respondents to the marriage question were female? So we just want to know what is the proportion that we're female. So we know that there were 524 um, females because we calculated that early. So it's 524 plus 474, right? Because we said that this was 474. We calculated that right here. And that's going to equal 998. And that is going to be... 0.525. So a little over half were females, which is good because when you have a large survey like this, you certainly want the survey to be equally, roughly equally balanced as male and female. <clears throat> so here's another example here, and I, I will I will help you um, with the uh, with setting up this table. And then I will give you the answers, but I'll, I'll have you go through and actually calculate them. So 274 of the 428 respondents whose highest degree is a high school diploma are very happy in their marriage. 139 are pretty happy. 212 of the 324 respondents with either junior college or bachelor degree are very happy. And 105 are pretty happy. Finally, 92 of the 142 respondents with graduate degrees are very happy, and 47 are pretty happy. So create a two-way table for these variables. Recall that happiness was measured as very happy, pretty happy, or not too happy. So if we just think about one of these variables right now, let's just focus on the group that are the high school diplomas, okay? So <clears throat> if we had a high school diploma on the column, oops, that should not say that. And then we have very happy, 
pretty happy and not too happy on the rows. What do we know? Well, we know that 274 are very happy. And then we know 139 are pretty happy. So how do we know the number that are not too happy? Well, that's going to be this number right here, 428 minus 274 minus 139. Oops. And that is going to be a very small number, which I have on the next slide. But I'll just calculate it right here for you, it is 15. And you can do this for the other two columns, right? So for each of these other two columns, these other two categories of highest degree, which would be junior college and, or bachelors, and then um, this would be grad degree, you know these pieces of information and then you can calculate this one down here by subtracting the numerators 324 142 from those two uh, values and I'll show you what I mean right here so here are the values here so you can confirm that you got your two-way table correctly uh, calculated correctly if you have any questions or need any help with that, please ask about that um, during the uh, class. So the question, first question says, are respondents with high school degrees, junior college degrees, or graduate degrees more likely to be very happy in their marriage? So how do we answer this question? <clears throat> first, what we need to do is we need to calculate the proportion of high school people, high, uh, students, uh, participants with high school diplomas only, that are very happy. So this is going to be 274 divided by um, the number we had before, I'm just going to peak, was 428 and that's going to equal 0.64. Okay. And then you're going to calculate it the same way for the bachelor's degree and the graduate degree. And if you've done it correctly, for um, the junior college bachelor's degree, and very happy, you should get 0.654. And for the graduate degree, you should get 0.648. So notice that I'm distinguishing these by having various subscripts, and that's the way you should do it in class. So hopefully you've calculated those correctly. Again, if you have any questions about that, please ask in class. The next, the final question says, calculate the difference between the proportion of respondents with high school diplomas that describe their marriage as very happy and the proportion of respondents with graduate degrees that describe their marriage as very happy. So <clears throat> we should take the proportion of high school, VH, minus the proportion of GD, VH. Okay, so we're taking essentially this value, subtracting this value. And it's very important that you always do the order um, based on the way in which the question is asked. Sometimes the question may not be asked um, in a specific order, but in this case, it's going to matter. We're going to do 0.64 minus 0.648, and our difference in proportions is going to be 0 0.008, negative 0 0.008. Just let me just write that just to make it a little bit more clear. So we see that a little uh, that the proportion of respondents with high school de degrees that um, describe their marriage is very happy is a little bit less. It's, it's very, very little bit less than the graduate degrees. So if we were thinking about this in a statistical sense, this is probably not going to result in what's called a statistically significant result. However, statistical significance is influenced by a lot of factors, which we'll be spending a lot of the semester talking about. 